Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting functional equations where we have f of 5x minus f of 4x equals 2x. Our goal in this question is to find f of x in a general form. So here at this side we have a linear because the degree of this x is 1. Okay, to find f of x, let's consider the solution here. Let's assume a function of polynomial which we are to find the degree of it and the coefficient of it. Assume that this is in the form of f of x equals we are assuming a general polynomial form since we don't know uh, the degree yet. Here we have a n x raised to the power of n plus a n minus 1 x raised to the power of n minus 1. Then plus, let's say this continues like that. That's how it keeps decreasing till we have a naught. And the first function here is f of 5x. The domain of this is 5x. If I change this x to 5x, that is, anywhere we have x here, it will be reflecting here. Since we have x in this domain, that's how we are having x here. If this x changes to another thing, so this will also change. If we have f of 5x, x this equals a n open bracket 5x raised to the power of n plus a n minus 1 open bracket 5x raised to the power of n minus 1 the next one will be a n minus 2 5x raised to the power of n minus 2 that's how we continue till we reach a naught and also for the other one which is f of 4x for f of 4x we are going to insert it as a n open bracket 4x raised to the power of n plus a n minus 1 open bracket 5x raised to the power of n minus 1 and this also continues like that till we reach a naught so when this are uh, known so the next is let's subtract this from each other because according to the given questions you said f of 5x minus f of 4x subtracting this from each other we are going to have f of this minus f of this equals, so we subtract these two from each other, as we are going to have this as a n into bracket of 5x minus 5x all raised to the power of n. So let me just call this one 5x raised to the power n minus 4x all raised to the power of n then we have plus also when we take out a n minus 1 here a n minus 1 then in the bracket we have 5x raised to the power of n minus 1 minus 4x that one also raised to the power of n minus 1 and when we keep applying that so a naught will cancel a naught. Then from here, if you have a n bracket, this 5 will take power of n following the rule of n d6 minus also 4 will take power of n. Then x raised to the power n is common, we factor it out. Plus apply the same thing here, we have a n minus 1 open bracket. 
5 we take to power of n minus 1 then minus 4 also is to power of n minus 1 bracket everything s is to power of n minus 1 and it also continues like that then after we have this since we have f of 5x minus f of 4x at the left hand side the whole of the left hand side equals this but the right hand side of this equals 2x so since that one equals to 2x and the power of that x here is a linear form that is it is a linear polynomial which means we are expecting to stop at when we have at uh, the degree of 1 and looking at this one since we need the power of 1 at n equals to 1, we are going to stop here because the rest are stories. So we have a not a, the next will be a minus 1, a minus 2, and other. So since it is only the linear function at the right hand side we are giving, so we are going to stop at the first one. Therefore, we consider at when n here equals 1. If n equals 1, we are going to have a1 into bracket of 5 raised to the power 1 minus 4 raised to the power of 1, then s raised to the power of 1. And we know that all this one equals 2x. Then we have this as a1, 5 raised to the power 1 minus 4 raised to the power 1, that gives us 1. Then multiply by x equals 2x. When we cancel x here, we are going to have our a1 equals 2. So if a1 equals to 2, then we can now conclude that when we record from uh, from the given function, the polynomial function, and since we stop at 1, therefore we have our f of x equals a1, then s raised to the power of 1. But here, our a1 is given as so a1 is given as 2 then s raised to the power of 1 plus constant values so when we replace a1 with the value of it which we got that is 2x plus c so f of x here is given as 2x here is the general form of this for when we have the right hand side of this as a linear form if uh, something changes here which means we are not going to have something of this form so this is how we solve this problem and indeed we can just try and verify just to substitute this value into the given function so we see that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next video if you have another method of solving this, you can drop it in the comment box. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.